This is not the video I was originally intending to make. I've talked about Catcher in the Rye on my channel in the past, a very long time ago, in kind of a short review, but I want to talk about it now. There seems to be some very, very weird tweets going on, and I just thought I would talk about Catcher in the Rye because it's a book I have a very strong love-hate relationship with. So this is a long form, random video, but here we go. So someone, now I disagree with shaming people for liking books that you like and writing what you want to write. So someone tweeted, literally had to block a guy because he said that YA isn't real literature and then I, and that I should be writing something, something noteworthy and that, and then proceeds to tell me that his favorite book is Catcher in the Rye. Now, I get it. I mean, that would annoy me if someone said it, my book isn't real literature. And I mean, I don't write YA, but I'm too old for it. But, you know, live, let, let and live, live, whatever, and enjoy the books that you want to read and write. But then it kind of becomes shaming. So one, someone replied to the tweet Catcher in the Rye is quite literally the worst book I ever had to suffer for in high school. That's disgusting. And then the guy replied, the original tweeter, it makes me wish Fahrenheit 451 was real, but strictly for books like that. Uh, no. That's when tweets like that cross the line and when they become shaming people for liking what they like and saying that people shouldn't read books that they like or that are deemed remotely problematic or whatever for any reason is gatekeeping and you are devaluing someone else's experience. It went from actually I kind of agreed with, actually I did agree with the person, to you really need to just shut up. That's me being honest. I will get in trouble for saying that, but who cares. So Catcher in the Rye is, like I said, a book that I had a very, very weird relationship with. It's school reading in the UK but in a different way. It's part of our GCSE reading and it's part of our um, A-level reading for literature and English. And what's strange about it is that we never get the full version here. So bulk of our GCSE and A-level reading is not full books. It's uh, paragraphs, chapters. We read them out of order and out of context most of the time. And I, I have to admit, I forced my way through Catcher in the Rye because it was one of the few books that we actually had to read in full. And I was rebelling and being all trendy and pretentious when I was 15. And I was an egotistical prick throughout my teenage years. Like many people I know, and like us all, when we're teenagers, we think we know everything. Catcher in the Rye... As an adult, I reread it. I, I put that book away and I found a very old copy for 10p in my library sale and I decided to reread it. And actually, I realised something about the book. That it is the main character's main experience from his point of view. I think if this book was published today, it would be a YA novel and I don't think it's this great piece of literature that people claim it to be, but I enjoyed it and I liked the writing style. I find the main character annoying, pretentious, uh, horny, and um, yeah, basically a teenage boy in every sense of the term. <laughs> you know, the teenage boy that we all were once, egotistical little pricks, thinking with our pricks, and that's what this book is about. I think the book comes from a place of pretension and I think it is, I don't think it's held too highly because I think it's important and it's one of the first books to be written, mainstream novels to be in a first person perspective. It probably has more in common with pulp fiction of the era it came out than it does with literary fiction. But reading it, I suddenly realised that it echoed me as a young man, what I thought, what I wanted to do, and how self-important I think we all were. You know, when we're young, we think we know everything. And actually, by the end of the book, you, I think, reading between the lines, like, to me, it reads like the main character um, kind of 
realizes he doesn't know everything and he's not ready. It's an interesting book. It's it's not a great book. It's a short book, and I agree that the way it's been taught in schools is very wrong, and I could do a whole video on literature in school and how it's taught and why it's misrepresented. But shaming people for liking Catcher in the Rye or anything is just not good. And, you know, even jokingly saying I want to burn this book and any book like it because it doesn't quite fit with your worldview or opinion of what a book is, is not a particularly good thing. And I always think Catcher in the Rye will remain a great classic. It's great fun, but it's a book that I do think is overrated. It, I always say it's it, it, it changes for me. Some days I think, oh, well, yeah, I get it now. And other days I'm thinking, oh, I can't stand it. I think for my personal opinion of this book, if I was rating it, I would give it an average rating. But it echoes my experience. And I think it's quite an important book for teenagers to read. But I think being forced, the book being forced on you in school is the worst way to read it. Um, and that I find really frustrating because I think schools and the education system of many countries kills people's love of reading because you have to suffer through books or out of context or do this or do that. I think this book should be one that you find on its own and you either love it or you hate it. But I think for me, it's a middle ground novel. I do love it though. Right now I love it. And just, I think it, it's a really weird book. I can't say, like I said, it, I would give it an average rating because of its flaws, but I do actually love it and in a weird way because it reflects my own experience. But, but I also dislike the main character. I, I never know where to put Catcher in the Rye. And, but I will stand by my opinion that whether you love it or you hate it, it's an important book. And shaming people for liking this book, you know, go, go die on the hill you climbed up on. You know, climb that hill and die on it. It's simple. So anyway, I'm Will. I'm the Bald Book Geek. Tell me what you think in the comments below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.